Okay, so our last little dilemma here is that as we are editing, well, and creating now, so if I fill out an application in the first place, first of all, it has an application ID, which the user is going to think they need to enter. And even if we don't put anything in there, like why have that displayed on the form, right? But second of all, when we edit, whoops, could have left it running, be faster. Um, so, so now on the edit, when I do it, I can see the application ID and same thing. Like that's not anything I don't want the, I want the user editing. Like why do they need to see that? And so what we do instead on this form, so on the dating application form is we want that, that information in there. We want it to be part of the, you know, the, the pieces of information that are being updated on the post of the form. But all we do is just say no label. We don't want the user to even see it. And so we just say, hey, this is a type equals hidden. All right, so the type of this uh, input, input box is equal to hidden. I gotta make sure my syntax is right. Yeah, perfect, I just wasn't IntelliSensing for me, so I, yeah, hidden, okay. So now this box is included with the form so it's going to be sent with all the rest of the information on the edit post method or on the edit um, on the on the add record method. Either way, it's going to be sent with the form, but it, there'll be nothing in it if it's a new record, which is perfect. We want it to create a new record. But then if it's uh, editing record, we, the, the input box is included here so that it gets passed and bundled up with the rest of that info to update. Let's go try this and make sure it works good. All right, so I view the wait list. I look at it and I wanna go edit this record. George Michael Booth has now turned 21 and submit application and now that record is updated without creating, creating a new record. Okay, perfect. But now my dilemma is I got all these extra George Michael Bluths. And so how do I now give us the ability on the delete to actually delete the data? And a lot of what we do on the delete is going to be exactly the same as what we did on the, the run. And so let's go in and start doing it. We already have the button set up for the delete, but currently it's not even pointing to anything. So let's go resolve this. Let me close all these again. I just drive me nuts when we get too many tabs open. Um, so in the home control, well, so let's start with the dating application itself. We created a button, sorry, the wait list itself. Let's start with the waitlist itself. We created a button, but where is that button going when somebody clicks on it? And so I'll say ASP controller equals, again, for now, we'll just have the one controller, so home, and then ASP action, action equals delete. All right, so I've got this set up now to where it's going to go to a delete action. And so on a delete, what do I wanna do? Um, let's jump into our home controller and, and build a little action for that. So I'll say uh, public I action result delete. So again, just think about it for a second. What is it that I want to do on a delete? Do I want to go to the waitlist form or sorry, to the dating application to go in and, and say delete on that? What, what would typically happen when you click the delete button? Wouldn't it usually take you to a form and say something like, are you sure you want to delete this record? And so what I'm gonna do is just create a new little view. So right click on view uh, on home under views and say add, and I'm gonna add a view, and it's gonna be a razor view empty, add. And then here I can just call this, this is my delete view. All right, so I can, add that and I'm going to get a new little page and all I'm going to do on this page is really simple. I just want to say, Hey, here's, you're about to delete this record. So maybe like a, you know, like a H2 tag that says confirm deletion. And then, um, you know, maybe like a, I don't know how this is going to look but like an H3 and I want to go tell them the name. And so if I want to tell them the name, 
How do we get at that? And hopefully you're starting to put this together. I don't expect you to be experts, but I expect you to start to be able to put some of these pieces of the puzzle together. If I'm going to get a name in here specifically, then what type of information is that gonna be? Well, that's gonna come in as, now I could pass it down through the view bag. Hopefully you're thinking of that as an option. There are some different things I can do, but I can just take the application that was submitted and bring that in. So I can make the model associated with this view be an application. And if I do that, then I can just come in here and, and grab the information from there. So I can say at capital M model dot, let's go get the last name and then we'll print a comma out and then the first name. So model dot first name. Okay, and um, this is the, the, the one that I'm deleting. And so maybe what I'll do is, is just create a little uh, ability to post on this form as well. So if they click the button and say, yeah, I want to delete them, then we can call that action, but we'll do that out of a post. So I'll create a little form here and say the ASP controller, sorry, the ASP action associated with this. So the ASP action associated with this form is our delete action. And actually I can put it in the controller too. I don't know why I hesitated on that. It wasn't in my notes, but can't relate too much on the notes, huh? We gotta use our brains. All right, so ASP controller, ASP action is delete. That's what goes along with this form. And the method of this form is going to be the post. Okay, so uh, I get that information. And that's because we're in a delete action. Well, because we're in the delete action, I don't actually know if we need this, but let's go with it. Button. And so we're gonna put in here a button. The type is gonna be a submit button and it's gonna say delete. And then we'll give them a chance. So if they don't wanna delete, what do we do? Usually there's a cancel button next to the delete button in case that's not what you meant to do. And so we can say, let's put a, an, another button in there. So an A tag um, that class equals button, button. And I think button, I don't know which one. Button, let's try button um, info. Um, so button, button info. And the, the ASP controller for this one What do we want to do? If they click cancel, where do we want to send them? If they click cancel, don't we want to take them back to that wait list? And so we can say, go back to the wait list uh, action and that will be our cancel button. Um, I am going to take this out because I don't think we need it because we're already in that delete view, then clicking on it should take us back to that delete post action. All right, so just a little form here that again, we're going to print out our first name and last name and then a little form that has two buttons. One is for uh, deleting and then one is for canceling. Let's see how this looks on the delete. Oh, and then obviously I forgot one little piece here. We're saying it's going to receive an application, but on the delete method, we never set up, you know, what application is it? And so just like we did on the edit, if they want to delete, we, we need to get the, the ID to know which one delete to delete. We need to load up that application and we need to get that application down to the view. And so this is a great place to stop because I think you ought to try this on your own and just see if you can do it. Test it. Have you been learning this stuff, right? Try it yourself and then come back in the next video and we'll see if we can figure out how to do it. Spencer out.